Hello, in this video I'm going to make an extension to this project by adding a second room to the left of this one. Uh, okay, let's get started. The first thing I need to do is make a copy of it and I'm gonna do it by selecting it. Then I do Shift D and then X to keep it on the X axis. So I'm gonna move it to the left of it. Okay, notice that the that it only copy the walls uh, but you still have the options of adding a floor and a roof and you can do that by going to the the tool menu so you hit N and you can toggle these they're, they're selected but if you toggle them it'll reset it uh, you can see it does that weird thing where it can maybe add the floor uh, you toggle the ceiling and it adds the floor, but just deselect it and select it again. And now you can, you know, it, it works normally. You can select and deselect what you need. I'm going to keep the ceiling off uh, so we can get a better visual. Same on this one. Okay, now I, I need to join them. I'm going to get rid of this menu. I hit N. Uh, I need to join the left into the right um, and I'm gonna do it by using this snap tool which you can enable and disable with the shortcut shift and tab um, and I want to snap it using the the faces so you you have several options here vertex edge the one I want to use is face I select that now I select the object that I want to snap onto the other one and then I'm gonna do G to move it and again I hit X to keep it on the same axis as the other one and noting and notice that it's not really snapping it you know that's because the cursor is not on the face that it needs to be snapped to if you have it somewhere else it'll just slide it but if you keep it on the face that you want to snap it to it'll do it so see it, it, it you can move it in other areas and it won't snap but as, as soon as you bring it to the face as soon as you bring the cursor to the face that you need to snap it to um, it, it does what it's supposed to so there it's snap and then you uh, click to finish the function okay so yeah that's the addition now I got two walls here I don't think I need to so I'll get rid of one uh, and you can do that by going to to the menu so I'll hit N and uh, yeah my select selected object has these four walls I'm gonna get rid of this one and I think you can do it just by changing this number to three. So I'll hit this little arrow and I got rid of that wall. Um, they're, uh, they're a little different sizes because you know that removing that wall made this room on the left bigger uh, by that much, by the size of the wall. Uh, but you can always resize these uh, on, on this menu. You know, for example, this wall one, you can make it, I'll make it smaller. So that looks like it's the, yeah, when you ma make it bigger, it makes this wall bigger. So that's the front wall. And you can do that with all of them. So if I make this one bigger, it does that. So you can make the extent the extension whatever size you want and it snaps the same way so again I'm gonna move it to in order to show how you can snap it wherever you need to again I'm gonna do hit G X and move it to the left uh, so again this is still enable but again uh, let's go back over that so you can en enable the snap tool with um, the shortcut shift plus tab I'm gonna select my object and then I'm gonna hit G 
and then X. And I go to the face that I want to snap it to, this face, uh, and just hit uh, the left mouse button. And it is snapped onto the section that you need it. Um, that's it for this video. Thank you for watching.